I made that initial video about vibe coding, my bad reaction to it. A couple of weeks later or whatever, GPT Codex came out, which has the ability to see your entire code base at once. It basically jumps to into it. I took on like a, a Rails project, which I, I know I've done Rails before, and the productivity gains are just incredible. Now, I do actually inspect every line of code that it generates. You know, you go back and forth with the agent, runs for 10 minutes, spins up a container, iterates with itself on a, a real server. I'm, I must be five times more efficient in a sense than even when I'm using GPT because you don't have to copy paste files, you don't have to create files manually, which I was doing for, I was staying away from all this, this Claude and um, all these like cursor and stuff like that. Not actually what I'd call doing vibe coding because I am actually looking over every line of code and I'm doing small pieces at once. And if the code doesn't make sense that it writes, I will probably ask for changes or just like throw away the context. What this 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 uh, AI agents give you the ability to do is to basically build apps and sites and business ideas with, um, I guess, the, the money that you could use for doing the market research, because that would probably cost thousands of pounds to do it properly. Now you can basically, because coding is a lot, a lot cheaper, ideas, um, being aware of what's being done with the code itself is actually probably more valuable than sitting hand typing everything. So we are in a, in a new world right now and uh, I mean who, who knows what it will be like in a year's time or two years time. I mean how much uh, human ability will be needed. Now, I am working on several projects at once. I'm using like lots of different codex context at once as well. So the, 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 the trouble I'm finding is basically trying to remember what the, uh, the AI agent did with the project um, like several hours before and then switching back between projects. That's the, that's the new muscle that's been being worked out here. The actual being able to remember what business features have been developed by the various AI agents or agent um, contacts that are running. Another interesting thing is that uh, I'm not afraid of doing like native Swift coding now. A lot of apps are made with like React Native. People don't want to learn the Swift or the Android code, but if you have good prompts now, you can pretty much uh, get the code that AI generates to be readable and you can follow along. It doesn't really matter what language it is. Ruby, I had no problem understanding. Swift, I looked at some Swift code. I'm working on a little native iOS app. I'll probably make, um, put it on the App Store and probably make the code open source or whatever once it's, once it's out there. Because once you have an app in the App Store, the same app is harder to be released anyway because Google stops you having to repeat or spam applications on the, on the App Store. Hello. Hello there. He's getting big, boy, isn't he? He's getting big, big boy. He's their good friends, aren't they? Yeah. We're getting oh. there. You remember me? Hello. You were scared by that big goldie dog up there the other day, weren't you? Yeah. He didn't like that dog. We He's so beautiful. We nearly ate for breakfast this morning. I know. We what? had another encounter with it this What's morning? the deal with that dog? I don't know. So, I don't believe in vibe coding. These AI agents cannot release a product, a commercial product. You just could not trust your business to be vibe coded. If it's, a, if it's a tiny little business, but if it's something serious, talking thousands of users, you need to really keep a hand of every line of code and know what it's doing because you can have some expensive mistakes. And I have made a mistake once and it, it almost uh, cost me a client. So you gotta really uh, watch that code. So in a sense, the main skill that we have to be able to develop now is good prompts and uh, being able to switch content switch Project management skills really, I mean, good project managers jumping around from different projects because we now have to have like more clients than normal because the same client doesn't have enough work now with AI. You can basically sit in, I don't know, now 80% of the time doing nothing and the client's gonna notice that. So you have to have more clients now because the the expectations of developers has increased. You know, it's like back in the day, probably expect the farmer with the horse and cart and oxen to work a certain amount of hours but the same amount of hours you now expect the guy with the common harvester to do so you don't we don't like pay the common harvester just for like one hour and the rest of the day sitting around or, or pay, pay him a full day's wages for just one hour's work no you still have to work the same amount of hours but the productivity expectation is increased the skill ceiling is increased and the skill floor is higher so that's what we're seeing now so there is a bit of disruption in the market because there's the same amount of work being chased by more efficient developers and I, I don't really see a way where, unless you're making something like a, an open source library that has to be really 
thought about specifically a lot of the apps that we do is almost just like crud, basic crud apps have been done a million times and that's where rails that uh, the framework rails is really good because the more conventions there are on a framework the easier the ai can be trained the less variation there is then the, then the easier and more accurate that code is and uh, a lot of sites now have to provide like LL, LLMS text so that they can be sent to prompts and the AI agents can better quickly make the code. So that's my uh, new take on sort of hybrid vibe actual reading the code. Uh, maybe I was a bit over the top in a previous video, but sometimes those reactions have their place as well. Thanks for watching the Nikos Katsikanis show and welcome to the beauties of Scotland.